So I'm here today with Kyle Grant, who is an ex-NASA scientist and also the founder of one of my favourite sustainable startups. You first came up with the idea for Oxwash when you were doing your PhD at Oxford University. That's right, yeah, exactly. Can you tell me a bit about that journey? Yes. Yeah, and how you bizarre. ended up loving laundry? Yeah, it's, um, it's a funny one, going from aerospace engineering to washing clothes, knickers and all sorts of wonderful wonderful things that come through our door but I was really frustrated doing laundry in facilities that were probably some of the worst in the world despite the university being one of the best which seemed a bit strange so started a kind of delivery for student laundry as a solution to my own and my friends problems this kind of spark started when we got so busy we needed to find like a proper processing facility my front room and the laundrette just didn't quite hack it so I went to see a few different processing partners. So we would do the logistics by bike and then they would do the washing. And you kind of walk through the door of these facilities and you get hit by this wave of chlorinated hot air that's often got particles of, of fibers floating in it. And it's really cramped, there's kind of crap everywhere, you know, really horrible working conditions. And then when you look at the process, it's you know, lots of bleach, really hot, no filtration, lots of drinking water, lots of energy, lots of gas being burnt. So I was like, oh no, don't, that doesn't fit with my personal views on the world and the climate crisis. So let's find somebody else. And they just got worse. So I was like, okay, we're gonna need to build the solution to do this and basically own the process from scratch. The way we view the washing of textiles, whether it's your clothing, dresses, bedding, starts at the front door, right? Or even the bed. It's how do we collect items from customers in a way that doesn't use a diesel van or a petrol vehicle, even mopeds, things like that. So all of our logistics of collections and deliveries are done in-house by our own riders that we fully employ. They're not gig economy riders on electric cargo bikes. So not only do they allow us to move laundry around cities, in a zero emission manner, but also people spot them, they notice them and they go, oh right, I immediately understand your business from the asset, the bike, that you're using to move the clothes around. So that's the kind of key part that links our lagoons to our customers. I invested in Oxwash for exactly that reason. You've really thought about every single step of the journey to make laundry as environmentally friendly as possible. Um, there's also a bit about the microplastics that fascinates me. Can you please tell us a bit more about that? So a lot of research has shown that of all the ocean plastic that is floating and permeating our, our planet, a third of it, or even slightly more, comes from our clothes. And this is in the form of tiny kind of nano or micrometer sized fibres of polyesters, polyamides, nylons, synthetic plastic that often is woven into our clothes as a blend, like polycotton, for example. Mm -hmm. And when you wash those items, especially hot, the friction and the heat just releases those fibers from the garment textile, and then it goes straight down the drain through sewage treatment plants and then into the sea. So fingers crossed we can tackle that by filtering them when we wash clothes. It's that simple. Mm. Make sure they don't go down the drain and use them for other things, whether it's loft insulation, packaging, or just keep them safe and recycle them in a you know appropriate manner. So you know people's interaction with clothing is changing. Consumers historically have owned bigger and bigger wardrobes of things that they really don't wear very often. And I think as people and consumers become more con conscious of the impact of buying clothes and the environment, not only in manufacture, but honestly the hundreds of thousands of tons that enter landfill every year. People are thinking, what else can I do? So fashion rental and resale is growing exponentially. So we found that our technology and the washing process and the logistics obviously that we have allows us to power that revolution where we can collect items that have been rented, wash them in a way that means they look as close to new as possible and they're ready to wear again. I've been doing Purpose now for the last 12 years um, mm. and you can really see a momentum. The shift is mm. changing. I used to be sort of knocking on a closed door 12 years ago. People didn't even really use the term Purpose. Mm. Uh, and now it's sort of open doors. Everyone's signing these policies. Everyone's wanting to do their business differently. Mm. Um, and I can't wait to think of the future where if all businesses are trying to solve world problems, yeah. um, just like yours, it's you. great. So yeah. lovely talking to you today. Uh, thank you pleasure. for having me and I can't wait to have a look around and also get on one of those bikes. Absolutely, let's get stuck in. Items come to us straight from the consumer often, so they will be worn most of the time, have some body odour and maybe stains from a party, things like that. 
The first thing we'll often do is pre-treat any stains. So if you've got red wine, for example, curry like me, then we'll add a small amount of chemistry onto the dress before it goes through the wet clean process. The process itself is very gentle, trying to maximise the lifetime of the fibres and then the garment itself. So we do have to treat those stains first off. The machine will send a ping up to the cloud saying, I'm ready to rock. And then all of the process after that is automated. Mm -hmm. It's very gentle. The items float in a bath of water at the bottom and are showered from the top, which means that the friction, any fibres that come off the items are minimised, mm -hmm. which is really important. So the way that we dry uses a machine that has conductive elements on the inside of the drum. That means that when the item goes in and starts drying, the temperature is quite high to allow the evaporation of the water to be quite quick. But as that comes down, the conductivity of the fabric as it's tumbling comes down and therefore the temperature comes down. Okay, and then here's the dress. Thank you very much. So the final step of the wet cleaning process is forming. So when the items come out of drying, the fibres are slightly constricted. So this is where we need to lubricate them with a little bit of steam and then blow the fibres apart using hot air and then cool air to set the fibres back into the natural position so that it's ready to wear and not shrunken. So we use a forming robot, which looks like this. So this takes the principles of the ironing board and automates it. What we're trying to do is emulate where it would sit on the person and we can change the width of the shoulders so that you get the patch here. And then we go through the process of clamping it, which will do the back. I'll just show you the other side. So we clamp it using these paddles here, which keeps the tension down. And then the fun bit. Sides go out to allow air to come up through the dress. There we go, and mm -hmm. completely ready to go crease free mm -hmm. and relaxed. Amazing. Nice. Great. This is a trike. Um, so the battery lives in here, and then the motor is actually in here. So yeah. we charge it up from renewable, and then you jump on, and it will assist you pedaling. It won't pedal for you, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Maybe one and day. And you can up the power, I assume. Can you make it easier exactly. and harder if you're feeling tired? Yeah. So yeah. for you, you've got gears here, yeah. and then power is these two. I'll put it on sport. For yes, now. please. Thank you. Hop on. <laughs> so you'll feel it start to help. Yeah. And then if you stop pedaling and twist it forwards, that's it. There you go. Okay. And I can't walk fast enough for this shot to work. Ah. <laughs> See ya.